Murray, <clears throat> I mean Santino, do you want to have a look at this new member's manual to the Brotherhood? You might find it pretty interesting. Reading is for the feeble. Oh, I just thought these initiation rituals might strike your fancy. The first step in drawing and quartering your victim is... Wait, wait, what was that? Just going over some of what I can look forward to when I'm voted into the Brotherhood. Let me see that. <laughs> Why, that's positively malevolent! Look at all the blood! Yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. Wait a minute! Let me see the cover. Ha! <laughs> it's the genuine article! Too bad I can't have your vote. Aha! You should be careful what you ask for! Consider my vote yours, and your demise imminent! Have a word. How you doing, Winslow? Can I get you anything? Mogobile? I am well, thank you. I wanted to inform you, as I was crawling back under the covers, I came across something uh, unsettling. Not another outbreak of Polynesian bed mites. No, 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 no. no. And I've seen my fair share of disturbing things between the sheets, sir. Uh... Ahem. <clears throat> What was it, Winslow? I believe a threat, sir. I left it over on the gangplank. It came with a note. Something about this being what happens to those who try to interfere with the Brotherhood. Seabiscuit! Mmm, I love these things! And a seahorse head! A mug full of the bily bubbly. Ah, refreshing. Doogie, my man. I like the beat. How about something a little more up-tempo? Like this? I dig it. are about the same size. Dacaba's monocular now has a red lens. He'll see the manatee through rose-tinted glasses, or uncover loads of secret messages. No secret messages there. Your monocular, boss. Thank heavens! I was going mad without them. No harm done to them? Uh, the lens was cracked when I found it, so I replaced it. How resourceful of you, crewman! Taking after old Coronado, I see. Ah. A mug full of the bily bubbly. And thank you for avoiding the corrosive yellow icon. Check out those eyes. Uh. Oh, even the orange has gone foul. Never again. 
It's Eustachian Rano for seawater for me from here on. A seahorse head. Giant manatees snack on these things like crackers. Man, if somebody made little fish-shaped snack crackers for people, they'd be sitting on a gold mine. Ahoy there! Now what? Let's go another round. Haven't had enough yet, dollface. Ready? I'll go first. He's got the <laughs> stinky, lazy eyed, meanie. Did you do a face yet? I just see general disfigurement. Now check this out. It's the Arr! nasty, fish eyed Gomer. Bye. Gnarly. Cheap Whistle has made it through the first round. Nice, but can you top this? Here comes the... Arrgh. Hooded, cross-eyed geezer. <laughs> oh, is this a pilgrim face competition? I could have sworn you said pirate. Let me show you. comes the Arr! bugged out tweaking meanie ha! some fresh moves but not enough partial originality is as good as none at all bug eye wins you've got nothing boy i'm just warming up just missing the last one ahoy there now what I'm ready to beat you in a pirate face-off. Well, I hope you've done some face research since our last one. Ready? I'll go first. He's got the... Arr! Stinky, tweaking Gomer. Oh! Here comes trouble. He's got the Arr! nasty, lazy eyed geezer. Mm. We're through the first round. Nice, but can you top this? Here comes the Arr! hooded, fish eyed meanie. <laughs> All right, my turn. Why can't I get the last one? comes the Arr! bugged out cross-eyed geezer. <sighs> Some fresh moves, but not enough. Part you've got. I'm just. So where will I get the last map? There, Mer Not take it. Everything okay in there? Certainly, sir. 
mind us relaxing with a glass of warm milk. Okay. Hiya, Chief. Yes, Grumman. Arr! Why was that nonsense? A pirate face. Intimidating. Arr! I am an explorer and esteemed adventurer. I don't do those sort of things. Oh, not even a little? Not even a little. Funny thing about your crew. Oh, my crew. Say no more. I don't want to get emotional in front of a new crew member. Oh, other cries haunt my dreams. Right then. Take care. Hi there. Now what? Call a vote. I feel good about my chances. Very well. Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Brother Noogie, your vote is still yes? Uh-huh. Brother Moose, what say you? I gotta go with my boy Santino on this one. Yes! Roll out the red carpet and let it run with the blood of Threepwood's torment. Ready to rack. Oil up the thumbscrews. <laughs> Man, you're something else, Santino. I say, yeah, my boy's got an eye for character. Nah, fine. And of course, my vote, which is no. Shocker. Initiation denied. Looks like somebody hasn't been making enough friends. I was hoping my natural allure would push me over the top. So they all have to agree? Well, this is bullshit. Ahoy there! Now what? What do you say about... Oh, I... I've got more faith. Waiting. Later, Buggy Bill. So long. You know anything about a seahorse head left in my bed? Sounds like a fabricated allegation with no basis and zero fact. I've got the evidence right here. Don't know what you're talking about. You enjoy carrying around a smelly carcass? What I put in my pockets is my business, stink eye. Kind of cute. Somebody left a seahorse head in my bed. I think it was a threat. And how does that make you feel? Well, at first I was scared, and then I was disappointed. Wait, you don't care, do you? No, not really. Hey, Mo. What is it? You know, you can't just go through life cutting throats and de-handitating people. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Watch me. Okay, I'll be back later. Take your time. You know anything about a seahorse head left in my bed? A dead seahorse? Bummer.
enough decapitation for now. Hey there, Mer. Talk to you later, Murray. Take care, windbag. You know anything about a seahorse head left in my bed? Wasn't me, but I wish it was. And that old fish eyes was a hit with the bearded ladies. Yet, doll face. Ready? I'll go first. It's the <laughs> stinky, lazy-eyed meanie. <clears throat> I've seen a tougher face on a newborn. Check this one out. Tweaking geezer! <sighs> Gnarly! Cheap Whistle has made it through the first round! Nice, but can you top this? He's got the... <sighs> bugged out, fish-eyed Gomer! <sighs> Here comes trouble! He's got the Arr! hooded, cross-eyed monkey. Well, I'll be. I've given you all the faces that I know. Unbelievable. Threepwood has beaten the high prince of the puss. Bravo. Now is the ombudsman of unoriginality. Unoriginal? Me? <laughs> if you say so, short stack. I beat you. Now I demand your vote. Is that so? Oh, I almost forgot. Forgot what? I've had this old thing laying around. Blowholes to Betsy. Could it be? Oh. Holy oh. buckets! It's the bug eye! Arr! Rarely seen, bros and bras. <laughs> If the challenger can't top that, this competition is over! Are you suggesting that I pull out both of my eyes? Well, <laughs> extreme. He clearly broke the rules. Which rule is that? Well, there ought to be a rule concerning the use of the freaky eye. I put up a fight, can't you just give me your vote? I stated my terms. Ugh. I had no chance the entire time, huh? Took you long enough to figure out. Your vote, or you're a dead man. Resorting to petty threats? Good luck. Oh, I don't have time for this. I'm sick of your runaround. I'm sick of your silly faces, and I'm sick of... Whoa. Maybe you're just sick, brah. You, you yelly-bellied deserter! I've crushed the souls of men ten times as tough as you and forgotten them by lunch! You'll do as I say, or rue the name Threepwood for the rest of your very short life! Whoa. It's the ferocious, uh, green demon face? Threepwood wins with the nastiest mug this side of the hypothalamus. Uh-huh. Fine! He wins! My vote is yours, but I've got my eye on you. Nice. Nice! Very nice. Oh, Ahoy there! Good. Now what? Oh, 
All right, call a vote. I feel good about my chances. Very well. Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Brother Noogie, your vote is still yes. Uh-huh. Brother Moose, Brother Santino, still yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I vote no. Hey, you said if I beat you in a pirate face-off, I'd be in like Flynn. Yeah, man. I think you gotta keep your end of the bargain on this one. Oh, all right. But only to maintain the integrity of the Brotherhood. Bureaucratic ethics win again. You have a unanimous vote and a formal invitation to join the democratically united brotherhood of the manatee interior. I accept. Do I get a sash? Or a button? No. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Burn in flame! You guys should really have buttons. I think they'd be a hit. What you do receive is the honor of one of the brotherhood's greatest responsibilities. As the most junior member, you'll be the caretaker of the cochlea. It's the key to our permanent vacay. Well, that's a great You're just idea. giving it to me? Got it with your life, brother. Well, how about I just go next and come all the way over here? I will talk. Morgan, I got the cochlea. Then go replace it in the ear canal so we can get out of here. I'd like to get you back to Flotsam while I'm young enough to spend the bounty. One cochlea procured. Uh-huh. We'll be out of here in two shakes of a pirate's booty. Ow. Here you go, pal. Whoa! I think we're back on course. I think I've fixed your manatee problem. How about that? I felt the beast rumble and checked my compass. It says that we're right on course. Ancient manatee mating grounds? Here we come! How did you fix his sense of direction? Funny you should ask. I ran into your old crew. My crew? Yeah, and they had the cochlea the entire time. I just pretended I wanted to join their stupid club and... My crew! Yeah, your crew. Alive this entire time. Who would've thunk? You betrayed us! Uh... Yeah, kinda. That is just... Yeah, I did kind of sell you guys out. We trusted you! Unbelievable, man. Uh, look, guys, I can explain. There's no need. Ah, uh, Bug Eye, the unlikely voice of reason. Breaking the trust of the Brotherhood has only one consequence. Expulsion? Oh, it's okay. I understand. Death. Kill him. hey -o. Doll, it's killing time! Excuse me? A trio of bloodthirsty mutineers are gonna pop out of that hole in three, two... What did I say earlier about running to me for help? One! It's go time, Morgan! I can't just be told when to fight. I'm not some junkyard dog. Yeah, man. Treat a woman with respect, would you? I could use a hand. Ha! He wants help from a girl. Are you still whining over that little scratch I gave you back on the narwhal? Ah, uh, the mutineers were calling you a pansy earlier. No, we weren't. He said you were a wilting flower. That sounds like Guybrush Threepwood. Look, I'm sorry about before. Sorry about what? About assuming you were incapable of handling the situation. 
You are capable. Now, please show these mutineers your capabilities. And? And you're a mighty bounty hunter. That's sweet. But aren't you forgetting something? Make him suffer. What? Oh! Weapon privileges restored. Thank you. Yeah. Mutineers of the crew of Coronado de Cava. I would like to establish, for the record, that the four of you were just manhandled by a woman. <laughs> so in essence, you've been woman-handled. Which I imagine was not near as pleasant as it sounds. Go dangle your yardum, you traitor! Nice work, Morgan. Thanks, Captain. I mean, thanks, honey bunch. Now, Coronado, how do we get out of here? I'm 14 steps ahead of you, mijo. Here, this should do the trick. That's a unique formula of Panamanian prune juice, East Indian espresso beans, and booty breakfast bran flakes. A few drops administered to the creature's digestive system should be our one-way ticket topside. Got it. A few drops in the biggest bile pool I can find. <laughs> done and done. Everyone on board! Hold on to your pantalones! Manatees don't have blowholes. What? Then... Oh, yeah. Yuck. Hey, about down there. I was a bit of a monkey's ass. No, well, yes, but I was going to say that your style's not so bad. Uh, nothing if not stylish. Anyway, I work alone, but you and I made a decent team. Hey, lovebirds, quit flapping your gums and get up here! My treasure sits mere fathoms away! <gasps> and my ship! The Howler Monkey! I thought I'd never see you again! I've dropped anchor down to the mating grounds and the cavern that lies Sponja Grande. Now, if only my lawyer crew was worth a piece of eight, Star Crew ever even had the temerity to expire! What's the problem? Santino was not only a world-class swordsman, bullfighter, and pastry chef. He was also, most importantly, an unrivaled skin diver. There is no other man who can survive the swim down to the meeting grounds. Guybrush can hold his breath for ten minutes. Is that so? Keen, huh? Well then, what are you waiting for, bucko? and make it a snappy! Just push me? Stuff in my pockets really weighs me down. Uh, luck. Well, let's Hold see here. Luck. Six thousand doubloons, the jewel crown of Queen Archipelago. Oh, and a golden wrenchy thing. Score! <laughs> Finally, the home of La Esponja Grande. 